Hey, Zippor here, founder of the Schoolful Relating Institute, your intimacy and mindful relating educator. And today we're going to talk about reframing and share with you one of my favorite processes to, to identify and to shift old, old patterns, um, relational patterns that are no longer serving us or you in our relationships. So reframing. The way that I actually utilize reframing with my clients is through identifying one's breath pattern. And so our breath patterns are actually a conditioned state. So when we were born, it's going to be the most open and connected we see our breathing. And so throughout life, we experience you know, uncomfortable experiences, trauma, we can identify them as trauma. and things that over time create, I wanna say veils of past pain, I'm gonna call them. And what that means is they create this open, we start with this open state, like when we're born. And then what starts to happen is we slowly over time start to shut down and shut down and shut down and suppress a lot of old emotional stories, which turn into veils of past pain, which mean present day we are living our life through these filters. And so what reframing allows us to do is it allows us to go in and identify what those veils of past pain are, how they are actually showing up in our present moment reality, our relationships and our experiences. And it also, most importantly, because of the way we're gonna go into the reframe, it allows our body to get a direct sense, like physiologically get a direct sense of what those patterns feel like in the body and then what it feels like to, to create the ideal, to create the opposite side, so the reframe. So the key note, what I'm sharing is, is that we are going into an experience of the body feeling the old and then feeling the new. And so we must feel in order to create something different, in order to create sustainable change. Otherwise the change is very mechanical and it's happening from our mind. So logically we might get something, but we're not truly anchoring it in our body awareness. So that's where we're gonna go today. So when I diagnose someone through their breath pattern, their breath pattern may be showing up with a lot of armoring um, on the physical body. That might look like, you know, tightness in different parts of the body. It might show up emotionally or psychologically in someone's world that, you know, they're, they hold themselves back. They, they avoid certain situations. So we have armoring, constriction. Constriction again shows up as tightness and tension within our, maybe our chest, our belly, you know, that nervous feeling again, that, that feeling like we're being confined and that leads to avoidance. And so these are three examples, armoring, constriction, and avoidance. Three things that someone might potentially identify when they sit down and they notice like, what are some of the key habits that they notice coming out in their current relationship and that could be with friends it could be with community it could be in a romantic relationship so the question i have for you what are some key components that you're noticing do you protect yourself do you feel nervousness a lot in your belly do you feel constriction in your physical body do you find yourself creatively avoiding certain things from communicating honestly to being around certain people to being in certain situations as a mechanism potentially of keeping yourself safe so number two after those are identified it's the question is that i would invite you to ask yourself and what i would ask my client is what do these three things, armoring, constriction, and avoidance, actually represent. Like what are they giving you in your present day life? So one might be protection, or I'm gonna add in a false sense of protection, meaning that these patterns and habits were created out of a certain suppression 
that was created out of a certain time in your life, likely when you were younger or a child, that you had to keep yourself safe, that that fight, flight, or freeze mechanism kicked in and became chronic and lodged, lodged in your system, yeah? So I'm gonna add a false sense of protection. Hey, Jeff. I'm gonna add in a false sense of protection because present day, you might not no longer need that emotional um, barrier or that um, that armoring over you, yeah? So a false sense of protection it gives you. The other thing it might give you is is a false sense of security, right? Because your emotional body potentially, again, way back in time, may have created this habit out of, I'm gonna use the terminology, having, not having all the information, right? So the limbic system, the fight, flight, or freeze starts to panic, it shoots off, um, simple terms here, but, and so it creates that constriction. So you don't have enough information, you're reacting, and so you're trying to create a false sense of security, a security to feel secure inside of yourself because around you, the environment may potentially show you the opposite. The other thing that these habits might be showing you is that you are holding on to a belief that life is unsafe. And if you were to really reflect on it today, present day moment, that might not be true. So that takes us into number three. And number three is where we want to actually reframe. So if you're listening to this in a moment, I'm gonna invite you to join in the reframe. So I wanna take you through the reframe today. And so, Wherever you're at, if you're listening in, I invite you to find a seat where you can actually not be disturbed for maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and to close your eyes, yeah? So if you're with me on this, just take a deep breath into your body, your eyes are closed. Just bring a deep breath in. I did say through the mouth, so bring a breath in. Put your own hands, put your hands right now on your lower belly and start to direct your breath down to your lower belly. And I invite you to imagine. Imagine a situation where you notice yourself showing up in control, avoiding situations, protecting yourself. Like identify for yourself a situation where you felt unsafe, where you have a belief in this day and age that it's not okay to communicate your feelings. I want you personally to come up with a real life experience that's been happening over the past six months for you. And I invite you to imagine that experience, that uncomfortable conversation or the moment that you felt an emotional trigger, the social environment that you felt uncomfortable in. And I invite you to imagine that and imagine yourself fully there, fully in that experience right now. Feel how your breath is responding. Feel the temperature of your body. See the environment, see the environment, the the temperature in the room, the people who you are with, the way the conversation is going. Really allow your body right now to be fully there so it can feel. You can feel in the body what is happening. Do you notice constriction in the body? Are you noticing your breath being held? Are you noticing tears starting to well up? Are you noticing um, heat or cold build in your body and you're wanting to run away? Notice as much as you can about your physiological responses in your body when it is placed in this real life situation that was uncomfortable, that was challenging, that triggered those emotional responses in your body. And continue to breathe. And then take a really deep breath. You're clear in what your body's feeling, but now take a really deep breath and a big sigh out. (sighs) And now imagine yourself stepping to the right of that experience. So you're going to find what's next is you are going to find a neutral ground. So you're in the past experience and now you're going to step to the right of that experience in your mind's eye, imagining this. 
And now, I'm going to invite you to start to imagine what the ideal situation would be like. What would this new reframe be for you? If you were feeling avoidance, if you had habits and feeling armoring, if you find yourself holding yourself back in life, not using your voice, scared, scared of expressing something, and you notice you are guarded and constricted, now I'm gonna invite you to imagine the opposite. If that guardedness, if that armoring, if that avoidance mechanism wasn't there anymore, what would be there? So that's what I invite you to imagine now, to think, what could be possible if that wasn't there? And potentially it might be, wow, like I feel more alive. I feel safe to be who I am with people. I feel more enthusiasm for life, more vitality. I feel I make clearer decisions and that I feel comfortable with saying no to people and that I actually feel safe to be alive. So those are some things that might be there if you were to let that idea go. So now I invite you to come back to that visualization if you left that and imagine yourself in that ideal situation fully expressed where you felt and lived a life because you knew it was safe where you felt more open to life, that you felt more comfortable communicating your feelings and see yourself in that scenario. See yourself fully living that scenario. What would the room look like, the environment be like? What would the temperature of the room be like? The people, who would be around you? What would your body language be like? What would you be wearing? And really allow yourself to feel now the physiological responses from, from really visualizing and imagining yourself in that more open space. And the key here is that you're really feeling the physiological responses. Does your body feel more open? Does your, do your muscles relax more? Do you feel more excitement? Is your breath more free and open? Really identify the newness in your body. And then take another really deep breath in. And then if you were going through this journey with me, I invite you to open your eyes. And so be with what you're feeling. So the key with reframing is, again, first identifying those past, those veils of past pain the habits that they have created, maybe the avoidance, the constriction, the, the fear of communicating, what those things are giving you, that false sense of protection or safety, acknowledging those things that they are giving you. For once they did, they, they really served you, and today they may not be because they're stopping you from feeling the level of intimacy and that, that level of connection that you're wanting with your, with your friends, your community, with your partner. And then going into the reframe, and the reframe is really going into an experience that triggered those patterns and feeling yourself in the reactive stage and how that creates a certain outcome in your physiological body, in your body and the physiological responses. And then go into visualizing the ideal, where you are more open, where you are more connected, where you are more expressed and feel what that feels like in your body sense. Again, the key is feeling. And then from that reframe, the final piece, the fourth step, is I want you to, the invitation is to create an affirmation. And this affirmative intention will be your intention for your week or your day. Or if you're going into a breath process, if you're one of my clients, this would be your intention before actually breathing and opening up into that new space. So some intentions I came up with based off of these patterns are, I love being me. <laughs> Life is safe. I am fully alive. And I am invaluable in this world. And so those are some of the intention examples based, again, off of the patterns that I specifically just went to. 
So my invitation to you right now is to take this reframing process. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can make it super simple. If you're going into a meditation, give it a try. Create a safe space. Prepare a space where for 30 minutes you're not going to be interrupted. Let your loved ones know that you don't want to be interrupted for 30 minutes. And take yourself through this reframing process. Whenever you feel stuck and really holding on to maybe old ways and old beliefs and patterns that are stopping you from being more open to intimacy and really having those thriving connections with your loved ones in your life. So I want to hear about your journey with this reframing process. Give it a try. Apply it to your life. Leave comments below this video. Leave comments on our intimacy hub here. That's how we create community and connection. I would love to hear from you. And if you have your own personal questions on love, intimacy, sex, communication, let me know. Send in your questions, post them to this page, and I will be making weekly videos for you based on your questions on creating more thriving connections and everyday intimacy in your life. If you want to check out my latest book, Revolutionizing Intimacy, Navigating Connection in a Disconnected World, I invite you to come on by my website, soulfulrelatinginstitute.com. Thank you so much and make this a magnificent day. Namaste.